YouTube family, kings and queens. I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. And if this is your first time to my channel, my name is Kim Banks, and it's the perfect place for anybody looking to persevere in life. We also discuss topics such as growth and success mindsets, life as an introvert, and various mental health awareness topics. This video right here is how to develop social skills as an introvert. What has helped me, maybe what can help you. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot of gems in this video right here. Let's try to get 15 likes on this video. Due to the YouTube algorithm, they go off of your interactions with our videos. So if you want to help me out, I mean, the content is free, but if you want to help me out in any way, please drop a like on the video, a comment down below. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button for me. Okay, so my valuable opinion <laughs> here is uh, for my introverts, if you want to become a, a better, you know, socializer, better communicator, better speaker, talker, whatever. Rule number one is to become the best listener that there is. Why? 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 Because when you're a better listener, you usually have better things to say. Now, with myself, I know that nine times out of 10, if you're an introvert, you're probably already a good listener. You probably are the best listener you know. That's good. That means we want to make sure that we're there, but we also want to make sure that we're listening to understand. I mean, there's different levels of understanding. It's actually listening to the facts. It's actually listening to the series of the conversation and the points that a person is trying to make. It's also being able to have emotional intelligence and understand where a person is coming from when they're speaking. Now, I know some of us can ignore that last part where we understand the flow of the conversation, what's being discussed and everything like that, but we ignore the emotional uh, appeal of the conversation and therefore we can misinterpret where a person's coming from and that will really mess up how you should respond because if I'm speaking with a friend and they're venting to me but it doesn't sound like venting in the beginning it's kind of out of the blue and I'm like whoa <laughs> how does it get like that um, you want to make sure that you are aware of those emotional cues so that you can respond in a more warm way and that harsh way learning how to listen will give trust people will trust you more and they will value you more too but I, but that doesn't mean don't speak it's very important to speak but i want you to understand that the most important part of communication is learning to listen the next point i want to make and this one is so valuable because a big part of being an introvert means that social interaction drains you faster than it does an extrovert where an extrovert they get a boost from social interaction and they are drained from being alone. So my fellow introverts, please keep track of your social battery. Understand when it's time for you to go recharge, go be by yourself, get these extra voices out of your face and go be by yourself for a second. Like me, also almost on average, if I go somewhere and I'm interacting with people, it's almost like an average time for me where I'm like, my, my battery lasts like an hour and 30 minutes, depending on the sort of conversation that we're having. An hour and 30 minutes after that, I'm planning an escape after an hour. I'm like, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna burn out, I'm gonna burn out. And then I'm at that 30 minutes, I'm saying goodbyes and I have something else I have to do. They don't know. I'm just trying to make it seem like it's, you know, my life. I am a very important guy, man. I'm mysterious, man. I got a life outside of this, you know? Like sometimes I have to go like, a day or two without speaking and I have to plan what days I'm going to exert myself, you know? And you should be aware of this too. That's a part of being an introvert. Do not try to disguise yourself as an extrovert because you're gonna just only cause mental fatigue and it's not gonna be fun. And now you're gonna like isolate yourself because you know, you're putting off this impression that you're somehow you're not. But instead you should embrace the fact that you're an introvert. Understand that you have a shorter social battery than extroverts. Matter of fact, extroverts, they, they don't have a social battery. That's, that's what fuels them. That's what charges them as a person. So understand that you need time to be by yourself. You need time away from the chaotic noise. Okay, now that we got past that part, you know your social battery and you, you also understand how to listen. But now, don't overthink this part. You're probably awkward. I'm awkward and that's okay because with the awkwardness, I want you to embrace that because that makes you who you are. Matter of fact, the awkwardness is why people love you because you're not afraid to be awkward and that makes everyone else around you feel comfortable. 
It just makes you feel uncomfortable and that's what we have to fix. I want you to embrace that because understand this, and this is a famous quote and I don't know who it's from. I do apologize, I did not do my research. I just know this from memory. But the people that matter don't mind. And the people that will mind, it don't matter. So understand that when you're being yourself, you are creating a filter for the people who should be in your life and the people who should not be in your life. So when you're being yourself, if people find that distasteful, then that means, hey, I just did myself a justice. I got rid of the person that should not be around me, should not, I should not interact with this person, should not socialize with this person. But the people who accept you are the people who, these are your people. These are your people. And now it's easier for you because you can embrace yourself, be yourself, and love yourself more. So you're probably like, okay, I have these tips, but where am I gonna find people to talk to? How am I gonna do this? Okay. Now, when I was about 19 or so, I would make it my mission to say hello to just random people in public. I know it's like crazy to say, hear that out loud, but when you're in a grocery store and you walk by somebody, you know, you can give them a nod or you can say, you know, hello, or excuse me, oh, how you doing? You know, simple things like that. When you make that a habit, not only are you giving off really good positive energy, but you're also making it a habit for yourself to speak to people that you don't know. So that when it comes time for it, you're like, oh, I always say hi to people, I always speak. So now it's not hard to say hello again when you need to, and now the conversation has started. Guys, I think this is a very important part to say. And sometimes really, I mean, honestly, I'm really kind of saying this to myself and for anybody else who might feel the way. But stop thinking that people are leaving you out on purpose because you think you don't fit in. And you think you don't fit in, so you feel like people are leaving you out because you don't fit in. And that can very well not be the case. Stop thinking people are leaving you out because you feel like you're not socially up to par as everyone else. And that can lead to negative thinking and that cannot be good because then I will leave the self-hatred because you feel like you're ruining your life or you feel like, you know, I wish I was like everybody else or, you know. Guys, I just want you to know that the people who are genuinely being themselves, we're an enigma, you know, we're unusual, we're one of a kind and never compromise yourself to fit in with another group of people to, you know, seek validation for who you are from anybody else, you know. More times than not, I know with myself, people don't invite me to things a lot because more times than not, I say no, or they probably just know me and they do me the justice of just not inviting me because they're like, oh, I know he's not gonna enjoy it. So I'm not gonna invite him because it's not his scene. Do I wanna get invited? Yeah, invite me so I can say no, like a man. No, I'm just kidding, but, <laughs> but honestly though, don't compromise yourself to fit in with other people, you know? Understand yourself. It's okay, like people probably won't always invite you. People won't always make you feel like you fit in. Uh, people won't always make you feel comfortable, but just feel comfortable. Just feel comfortable. It's tough. It's a tough world for us introverts. It's a tough world because the world is designed for extroverts. I mean, even like online gaming is the worst thing that ever happened to my life. I just want to play the game by myself and just chill. And if people want to come up and play the game with me, cool. And now it's like, dude, it's all online. And that is like horrible. I just, it's a headache. I'm not going to lie. It's very challenging for me. Like, I don't want to just, ah. It is just, it makes the game suck, I'm not gonna lie. And the people that you can meet can be really amazing. But woo, it, it's it's hard. I, I I didn't start playing online until 2018, um, just because I was like, nah, I, I'm, what's the point? I gotta pay for that? No, I was just really just scared of just a social interaction that I would have to become a part of, and I just really did not like that. But whatever, whatever. I just want you guys to know that just love yourself, embrace yourself. Don't worry about fitting in too much. People aren't always leaving you out because they don't like you. Somebody might not like you, but hey, they're not liking you because of your introvert. It's just something within themselves. I don't know, people don't like people. I don't know, everybody ain't gonna like us. That's just how it is. I appreciate you if you made it this far in this video through all of that butchering of words and rambling. I do apologize for that. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter, <laughs> but there's a lot of information I want to put in each single video. So I appreciate you guys that make it this far. You guys are the real kings and queens, man, honestly. Down below in the comment section, let me know on a scale of one to 10, how good are you at socializing, communicating, listening? Where do you rank yourself? And if myself, I would say that I feel like I'm a, on a good day, 
seven out of ten. I have to work on and 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 after you rate yourself. And this is only for this, you know, for the sake of improving, not the sake of feeling down or anything like that. Don't make this a negative thing. This is a positive thing. After you rate yourself, say something that you can do to improve your communication skills. With myself, I think it would be my the thing I need to do is, is try to, you know, have a longer battery, a longer social battery. So I don't feel drained so easily from, you know, interactions, and especially with the larger the group, the faster my, my should drain down. But I tell you, if it's 45 minutes, I'll be ready to go. Um, so, yeah, let's um, do that, man. Um, one, one out of 10 and what you can do to improve. Uh, this is a very um, powerful thing right here. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. Join my YouTube family, man. And put your crown on, man. Take your crown. Take your seat at, the, at your throne. And but guys, as always, continue to persevere, stay positive, and be blessed.